Welcome to break, everyone. I hope you guys all had an amazing uh, break and uh, enjoyed some time off, got some rest, recuperated. Um, but I'm happy to see everyone again. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your week. I think we're just going to start off with announcements. I'm not sure if Kevin was able to get in. But let's start with Nayeli for LitMag. Okay, we can come back to Nayeli. Let's go with, let's see who's next up. Gabrielle and Seth have an important announcement for Student Council. Yeah, hi everyone. I hope you had a great break. Get excited because next week we're gonna have a Halloween Spirit Week. So, <laughs> Monday we want all of you to decorate your Google Meet background. You can do like a green screen type of thing or you can physically hang up decorations. So whatever you want to get into the Halloween spirit. On Tuesday, we're gonna be playing Among Us so at lunch. So wait for an email either today or tomorrow um, with more information on that. And then on Wednesday, we're gonna be carving pumpkins. So if you've already carved a pumpkin or if you wanna do that on Wednesday, make sure to send in a picture by the end of the day to the York Fog and Feed Instagram or to email it to me or any other of the executive student council members. So Courtney. Yeah, so then next on Thursday, we have kind of a similar idea with the food decorating contest. So you can decorate, you know, cookies, cupcakes, whatever you want, um, take a picture of it, and again, send it to the York Falcon feed or either Gabrielle or me. Um, Friday and Saturday, we have a really exciting thing coming along. Um, we're going to be having a drive in movie night. So Essentially, um, there will be different time slots that students can come um, at the kind of upper senior parking lot, and we're going to be offering different movies. We have a survey for you guys, so you guys can you can decide which movies you guys think would be best to see, and then the top three choices we will choose. However, we might not be able to do it on both days, depending if we are able to get teacher chaperones. So teachers, I am going to put this link in the chat. Um, please, please let us know if you can chaperone sometime. If it's the kind of thing where you can only chaperone for certain hours, just let us know. You can bring your family and if they want to watch a movie too. Um, and it should be really fun. Hopefully that will all work out. So yeah. Um, I put all the form links to the forms in the chat. Um, the first one that I sent was the form for the movie, and then the second one is for teachers. So, yep. Thank you, guys. And just so you know, I will be sending out a form later today in an email for the Among Us groups, because we want to separate the people who are competitive and casual, so I'll send that email later. And then once I have the results from the movie form, I will send out the RSVP form for the movie night, which will also include snack orders. Yeah, so we're going to also have like little snack um, things. So we're going to have like a little candy snack pack and then a little snack <laughs> snack pack. So you can um, you can purchase those ahead of time and then um, we will give them safely socially distanced. We are been, we've been hearing um, ideas about using grabber arms. Um, so yeah, so we'll be handing those out then. So yeah. Okay, sorry about being a little late. Um, internet was having a little bit of issues, but um, thank you for the announcement, guys. And uh, Juliet's next. Okay, so first, Cooking Club is meeting today at lunch in Mr. Daniel's room. We're talking about shortbread, vanilla, and brainstorming for our fall projects. And then Math Club. Math Counts is gonna be an online competition this coming year in early February but it is a middle school, middle school competition only. So if you are in the eighth grade and would like to participate, it doesn't matter if you are currently in math club or not, we'd love to have you at our next meeting this coming Tuesday D-Day so that we can tell you more about math counts and you can see if you're interested in competing or just doing the problems for fun. So yeah, next Tuesday D-Day, Dr. Hannah's room at lunch. See you then. All right, thank you. Uh, Mr. Peters has an announcement for us. Uh, thanks, Kevin. Um, we're starting up with our uh, cohort session two 
They're going to go from today, October 22nd through November, December 4th. So we'll stop uh, the week before we sort of roll into the end of the quarter so people have extra time should they need that for assignments, et cetera. Um, on Monday and Fridays, we'll have five choices. We'll have two sections of boys soccer, girls field hockey, girl, uh, girls volleyball, and mountain biking. And, and Mr. Bloom is eventually, going, after I finish my announcement, he's going to post um, basically the cohorts and who signed up for what. Um, if for some reason you see your name <clears throat> someplace where you may have made a mistake or something like that, please contact myself and, and or Mr. Bloom and we'll, we'll get that figured out for you. Um, we'll explore lacrosse in the future. I know there's been some talk about that. We'll look at, into that as we go. Um, Tuesday, Thursday, we're gonna offer cross country uh, boys volleyball. So that's gonna start today, cross country boys volleyball and a girls soccer section. And then on th and a Thursday, since it's a Thursday, we're also having mountain biking and painting. Um, so those are the choices. Many people have already signed up prior to break, but if for some reason, again, when we when we release the rosters of what people chose, um, please follow up um, if there's some issue with where you are. And if we can remedy it, we will. Um, but of course we can't. There's some that are a couple that are full as of right now. There's two, two courts that are full. So unless some room comes up one for those particular things, uh, then we'll make those switches for people. If not, um, we'll hope to see you out there, and there are some open spots so that if other people would like to join us, we'd love to have you, and so give it some thought. And so with that, let me turn it over to Mr. Bloom. Thank you. Thanks, Mr. Peters. Morning, everyone. Uh, I just shared with you in the chat a link to the doc. I'll share it on my screen, too, but first I want to remind you of something. Remember that when you're uh, before you actually leave home on the way to come out to see uh, your cohort that you're going to fill out the York screening app. Um, remember, uh, you need to not only answer uh, which cohort you're in and answer all the questions in the um, in in that doc. You also need to uh, click submit. Um, so I'll be on campus today to help out any sort of new groups uh, and new students with that, but. With no further ado, here are the cohorts. All right, please uh, see me or Mr. Peters or email, email us uh, if you have any questions. Uh, we're really looking forward to cohorts in quarter two. All right, thank you, Mr. Peters and uh, Mr. Bloom. Um, moving right along, we have uh, Mr. Partlow. <laughs> Hello, everyone. I have a number of announcements. Okay, the first one is about the PSAT that's happening next week, Thursday, the 29th. Juniors, you've received email communications about coming to school uh, for the PSAT. You're going to be taking the paper and pencil test just like everybody else across the nation. Um, look up that those emails. Uh, know that Mr. Wilcox will be emailing you which cohort group and location you'll be taking the test in. Sophomores, you are also taking the PSAT on the 29th, but you're doing it at home, online, through a company called Revolution Prep. You and your parents should have received an email with how to prepare and log in and sign up for that test on the 29th. Um, they even give you an option to print up an answer sheet, so you might want to look at the steps beforehand and have that answer sheet printed up so when you're taking the test, you'll be able to bubble things in. They have other options too, but I want you to look at those emails. So all 10th graders, find the email from Revolution Prep and be prepared to take that test on the 29th, Thursday, uh, for the first part of the day, okay? There's also a prep class that was sent out in an email um, and in the Falcon. If you're interested in preparing and learning more about the test and strategies for taking the PSAT, that prep class is this Saturday. It's also virtual um, and it's through Crosswalk Education. So find emails and sign up for that test prep class if you're interested. If you don't wanna do that, that's okay. There's free test prep by Khan Academy and the College Board, other online resources that you can find. Now, 
advanced placement tests. Um, I've mentioned this a couple of times. If you're interested in taking an AP test outside of an AP class, you first contact Mr. Zeljo and he talks with you about the classes you're taking, um, the load that you have, and whether it's the right idea to, for you to take um, an AP test. And then if it's approved, he e emails me your name and then I send you a code where you log in and register for that test. Okay, that has to be done by November 1st. So you pretty much have the rest of this week and all of next week to make that decision and have that meeting with Mr. Zeljo. Hey, we're coming to the end of college visits. We have a few this week. Uh, today at 1230, we have the American University of Paris coming. Sign up for that uh, on Naviance if you want to attend that. That's at 1230 today. Tomorrow, we have three colleges visiting, Lewis and Clark, Oberlin College, and Lafayette Colleges. Three fabulous liberal arts schools. One has a music conservatory, um, well-renowned, excellent schools across the nation. So tomorrow, it's Lewis and Clark, Oberlin, and Lafayette College. Uh, sign up on Naviance. Finally, seniors, um, tonight there's a financial aid night where we're going to go over the CSS profile and the FAFSA. So it's important that you let your parents know they've received emails too about the financial aid night for the class of 2021. I have a representative from the financial aid office at University of Southern California, and she spends every day of her career analyzing those um, applications, the FAFSA and the CSS profile. So if you have any questions or concerns on how to fill those out, you want to make sure you and or your parents are coming tonight at 530 and it's going to be in my meet link, my meet group. All right. So that's the PSAT, the PSAT prep class, advanced placement tests, college visits and financial aid. Go college. All right. Thanks, Mr. Partlow. Um, one more announcement from Niali. Hi. Yeah, I just wanted to get on here um, and let everybody know that LitMag is going to start posting on our Instagram page. Um, and if you'd like something you wrote featured or something um, you drew or anything like that, you could submit at litmag at york.org. Um, if you'd rather do so anonymously, that is something we are working on. Uh, so we'll keep you posted. Thanks. All right. Thank you. Um, I believe that's all the announcements. Um, yeah. Hope everybody enjoys the rest of the day. It's not a Monday. It's a Thursday. So um, weekend's almost here. Um, yeah. Take care, guys. Thank you.